Hello and welcome to another Neo Reading cast. Uh, my name is Johnny and I'm joined once again by Pete. Hello Pete. Hi there. <laughs> and today we have uh, footage, more footage from the Oxford Store Championship. This is uh, round four, game two. Um, so on the left we have um, Mike playing a foundry deck. At this point in the day Mike is six and one. And on the right hand side we have Joey playing his much, uh, much wanted Valencia deck. Um, so Joey is four and three. So this is um, top table on round four. There's only, only one more round of Swiss after this. Um, and then we get to the uh, brutal double elimination rounds. I am really looking forward to watching this video. I've heard a lot of talk about <laughs> Joey's Valencia <laughs> deck. Um, uh, yes, and he doesn't disappoint. So a turn one installing two incubators in the same old thing. Gosh, What wow. the hell is... Yeah. I'm taking a credit, what? of course. What the hell is going on? <laughs> okay, uh, is this... Uh, I, think, I think I do know the flavour of this Valencia deck then. Which will be awesome. Um, so Valencia changes the game in a lot of really interesting ways. Uh, By forcing the court to have bad publicity, it turns on uh, many runner cards, in particular one, Blackmail, which yep. prevents the court from raising ice during a run. You can assume that any Valencia build is going to include three of that and build around it in a major way. Sure. And there's a, there are two Valencia decks on the day. Both of them did well. Um, so this was our Joey. Sounds on, sounds like a our Joey. This is our oh, Joey's. Yeah. I love him. Oh. Uh, this is our Joey's Valencia. Um, the other, the other Valencia player on the day was Neil, um, who will make an appearance in future videos. Wow! Look at this power play. So, um, I, I like this. this so is great. this is aggressive from Mike. Yeah. He's trying to rush out. He knows there's going to be blackmails and stuff. So I like that he's trying to. He's just testing. Use it or is lose it, it. Do you have a blackmail? Yeah, Do you have it, Jerry? Are you going to show us a blackmail? Let's see so, the colour of the, his, his Incubators running. build up. I've got to say, a double incubator first turn is good in any corp that builds running, uh, any runner that builds around incubators. You're not moaning about that. Wow. So, he have, he he's ma maybe drawing for a black male, yeah. He, is he, I think he did not get it. Uh, so, self mod. Anyway. Okay, so now. I like self mod. Run it. No, you don't want to res ice. Uh, he's only got three credits. Pete, so naive. Self-mod is not for getting breakers out. <laughs> oh, of course. What was I thinking? <laughs> yes. When you're a professional runner, you don't need yeah. to break ice. The first time I played against Valencia, I was kind of tilt from turn one. Yeah, just trying to work out what's uh, going on. So Mike is in an interesting position. Um, because he doesn't really know what to expect. But he knows to expect the unexpected. <laughs> We saw in a previous video that he does well out of um, Baltic. And mm -hmm. you feel like Baltic is going to be key. Yes, absolutely. And Baltic use. Um, fast events, Astros, Saints hands. So, um, suffice it to say, it, it was strange that he did not score the remote, score the agenda. He left the advanced remote during his turn. He Instead, he blue leveled and then green leveled. He's drawing for something. But whatever it is, it's not on the table. Now, in a previous video, he installed um, Grendel Refinery um, on first turn, so it's possible it's not one of them. He does have a lot of money, so he doesn't necessarily need it. Um, it's very possible that he's baiting Joey into into spending a blackmail on... Maybe it's, maybe it's now failed. Um, he's also continuing to install ice, which is just... <laughs> It's just needless. <laughs> one, of the, is, one on each it server. It's a bit just redundant. To, yeah, yeah. Just to force the blackmail. And the new remote. How many blackmails can Joey possibly have in his day? Yeah. Only three. Same old thing. Deja vu. Oh, that's yeah, relentless. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Kevin Levy's and stuff. Yeah. So Vigil somewhat belatedly fires as well. Vigil's a great card against a corp that is tilting because they don't know what they don't know what to do they're kind of panicking yeah, they're drawing there. up yeah, yeah. <laughs> love it it's great game design so so Joey's turn was to run the uniced remote um, and then take three credits so he obviously has no interest in running ice whatsoever yeah his incubators are ticking over yeah you feel that something at, I feel like know. I feel like a purge it's does it sound ridiculous to say you should just consider purging even at this stage because when the, yeah and Mark is discussing that exact thing here well there's a medium <laughs> and there's a self mod on the table you'd be mad yeah. I mean let's do some quick maths here if I wanted to install a self mod I use a self mod to install a medium during a run it would cost me five credits 
Now, it would appear that Joey has exactly that amount of money. Mm. So, as soon as he draws a blackmail, then... I see a billion cards. R&D is going to be... Oh, it's going to have his way with R&D. I'd like to see a purge. Instead, he continues to advance the remote. And he's using it. So it's a Grendel refinery. Mm. Okay, so like the previous game, for an economy boost. But what good is money when you don't get the opportunity to res ice with it? <laughs> All the money in the we world can't you're... defend your servers. Yeah. I think he's just going to fast advance to win. I think I think that has to be the plan. Yeah. I feel like maybe the extra ice was to was meant to be further bait, and it's kind of given up. Maybe at this point he's just decided. Okay, so the incubator's come up and vigil as well. Some good clickless efficiency for sure. So Jerry claims he's one credit short of what he wants to do. I don't know what that is though. Ah, oh, wait. Is it because blackmail costs a credit to play? It is. Okay, so it sounds likely that he has a blackmail in hand. Of course you can click for a credit. Great deal of thought. So I think I know what the problem is here. So he, he clicks for a credit and then uses the self mod. So I understand the dilemma he had, and it's this. Self mods can install a medium during a run. Yeah. And you can use a bad pop to do that. But the meat because of the way you the fact you have to click an incubator, the medium needs to already be on the table. So unfortunately you need to install the medium before the run. Because you need to install the medium, use two incubators, yeah. and then make the run. So unfortunately the blackmail doesn't help him out there. You can use his trash stuff, I guess. So as expected, uh, self mod installs a medium, <laughs> 11 counters on uh, medium following the blackmail run into R&D. So we're going to see 11 cards, get ready. Okay, so that's straight out scoring ABC. There's going to be some mystery cards here because I didn't catch them all. But they're just going to fire up. So there's a lot of ice, some events. He uses the bad pop to trash uh, the melange. So there's an NAPD. Gosh, that is... I'm oh, sorry, he doesn't sell in, he doesn't have the money for it. Ah, oh, so yeah. that's the problem, yeah. And does get gear hands, but he saw deep, like really deep. And the foundry is kind of a blank ability now because he's never going to get to res ice. He's never going to get to shuffle mm. R&D. Um, Mike surprises neither of us by purging and, mo <laughs> and moves the dice <laughs> even further away than Joey did. I love it. I have a feeling that they'll be coming back though. So that was... So for three points, that oh, was that a was awesome. powerful first yeah. turn. Yeah, first like early game. Um, and it hurts when you get hit with that as the corp. Yes, and I hate like... I hate to point out errors, but uh, oh. I should also point out that Valencia accessed one too few cards. Should have got more cards than that even. He only accessed ten cards, unless I miscounted during my uh, original pass through this video. Oh, eagle eyes, John. Yeah, I know, right? It was. So Armitage I like as a, a source of money. I mean, you only need one credit to play Black Males, but deja vu's that kind of thing. Incubators need to be paid for. So what you do is the foundry now. You've got, let's say, infinite money. It's just biotics, right? Biotics. I mean, you pray, you pray for an ash. I always like ash because yeah, it ash avoids a lot of these problems with ice letting you down. Yeah, uh, ash, caprice, they're hard counters too. Yeah, caprice is a good one. Caprice yeah. and R&D would be a great move. But he's already spent all his, all his influence on Grail Ice. Yeah, um, that's true. So maybe Grail Ice is not the answer. <laughs> but something like Ash is already... Ice is never, never the answer. Yeah, you don't need Ice. Yeah, Ice is weak. Um, so I like Ash. I mean, Ash is just a good card. But, yeah. yeah. It's difficult. And this is this maybe is the, the biggest problem with Valencia, is that you have to tech against it. You have, specifically, against yeah. this kind of black mineral recursion and bad pub. Uh, bad pop deck. I mean, it, yeah. So we just ran the remote. So I, I mean, it's different. When the only way to give the court bad pub was to mm. use crap cards like frame job, frame it was a bit different. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't want to do that. You don't want to be doing that. That's straight in the binder, that Yeah, one. I know. But uh, when a runner comes with, I mean, so one of the downsides, I guess, is uh, for Valencia, which is 50 card deck. So. Wow, but you, I haven't noticed people caring about that. Yeah, You've got yeah. Vigil, fantastic console. There's, uh, there's good cards. It just means the Black Males are, I guess, fractionally harder to find, but 
Yeah, not really. Fractionally. You could plan to solve them. No, that's infinite. You can always spend. So what do you do as the foundry now? Ice is worthless. Ice is worthless. You find your Jacksons. You... What, just play keep away with the genders? Yeah. You aggressively I mean, draw. He, he's not... Uh, you can it, toss he, a lot of your ice. He might not run on the remote that much. May, the fact that he's got a, a medium out suggests maybe he's happy to just focus on R&D so you could always sneak something out. But, I don't know, man. He's already on what? So he's back out the remote. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah. So he's up, he's up to five points now. Uh, six points, I should say now. That, that was that was really ballsy play. He obviously put it down hoping that he didn't have... I don't know. You've got to no. assume that there's at least nine blackmails in the deck. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to same old thing and yeah. deja vu. Yeah, and, and even Levy as well, we'll just bring all yeah. back. So. Um, so, I, with the Accelerate Beta test, I would like to keep it in hand. We know there are biotics in this. Yeah. Accelerate Beta test is a hard stop for, yeah, absolutely. for Valencia. So, I would like to have seen a biotic yeah. into uh, Accelerate Beta test. Keep it in hand. He's never going to run HQ. I yeah. think HQ is entirely safe. <laughs> Start throwing away your ice if you have to. Yes. But I would have kept the. Accelerate beta test because that above all other agendas is the most important. Yeah. It's obvious there's no Elizas in this nope. deck. Uh, Executive boot camp would be a great include, but we can probably expect that's not there. Nope. In got, fact, it looks like he has a Baltic in hand. He's got so two I, have, oh, and Vitruvius. I so I didn't like that play. I would have. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. He's got so much money. Baltic is just whatever at this point. Yeah. I would like to see him play the Baltic, get Accelerate beta test out, and who knows, get as much yeah. ice as he can out of a lucky. Trigger. He might get nothing, and if that's how, if that's what the gods have dealt with, then so be it. But even so, if you got in a hypothetical world, he, tr he scores out the accelerate beta test and gets one piece of ice. Where'd you put it? Did you put an R and D. Did you put on the remote. Because you put on the remote, you can just you can just walk out agendas as you draw them. But R and D is kind of every. I think you've got to put it on R and D. The impression because... is that every six turns, R and D is going to yeah. get just destroyed. Unless maybe like well timed purges, that kind of thing might. Disincentivized, but yeah, I'd still put it over R and D, yeah. and then fast advance the rest. Yeah. And that's only if you get one ice. You could, you probably get. If you two, get two, right? you do both, right? Yeah, it's, it's R and D in the remote. Golden. Yeah, and then you just don't ever keep agendas. And you just put them straight in the remote. Face. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side. On the Valencia side, you got to feel good, right? I mean, threatening another massive. You've now got two more incubators on the table. You can just sit back for six turns, take credits, do whatever. Yeah, you're on game you've, point. He's got a black man in hand, and if he hasn't, he can get it. Yep. He's going to get visual draws probably every turn. So there's the Biosix, but it's for Vitruvius, and that's, know, that's not what you want to see. Hurts. Two points. Is, I mean, again, I would have kept the Vitruvius. I would have waited for another accelerated bit test. He's, Valencia scored two, but there's one. That's the only way you're going to get I out. I think of this. you're right, Jonah. So he scores a Vitruvius to get on the board, but it's there's no more benefit from that. I'm trying to think if there's any other way around that. There's not really. Yeah. Does Jackson help? Not really. Jackson helps. Draw, draw, draw. But, yeah. Just and draw. The, and throw then, away that ice. And, yeah, and I don't know. Doesn't, it, doesn't that just kind of thin out the deck? Is, is this bad? He's gonna, he's gonna hammer you anyway. Why he only needs one point. He does only need one and point. And this time he and will run with four crits. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. It's, I think you just have to be super aggressive at this point and just go for it. Yeah. Or you could try and just force out. Yeah, so he, he purged for no game. But, I mean, I feel like maybe he's just waiting for the right card to pop up. I don't know what that card is. Wow, what is, what is that card? I, it, Eliza's. Is, Isabel Maguire? <laughs> That would be what? <laughs> I don't... No, I don't think you're talking sense. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'm, obviously, I'm a big fan of Eliza's, as previous videos have shown. And Eliza's yes. is really good against Valencia. In fact, Jerry has always refused to play against my Eliza's. He's deck. refused. Yeah, not outright. Like I sat across from him and just walked away, but he doesn't want to play it wow. because he he thinks it would be a terrible matchup for him. And for what is worth, I agree. Because I would just res some ice. Yeah, and then, but does that work on the flip side? When people, when he rolls up with his Valencia blackmail deck, do you just go? Ah. If I had played him in the tournament, he may well have just scooped. He said, he, I think he said oh, as wow. much. I believe that's not the case because he's a professional. Would never sully uh, a competition like that. But. So, 
still purging, consecutive purges from the foundry, which is unheard of. The, yeah, the, the incubator so, threat is, is this is this a full on tilt at this point? It kind of has to be right. I, I think it is. Yeah, I think you saw the tilt, with all due respect, um, when the the Vitruvius was scored with the the biotic. Yeah, it's uh, two points is who cares? You need ice. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's true that it's game and you don't want Joey to get it, but I'd leave it in HQ. Yeah, I don't know. And there's only one XRO B test. You yeah. you gotta assume he's got three of them. But if there's no specific tools to res ice on your own terms, then you're gonna have a bad time against Valencia. You are. For sure. So it's interesting to mention this is actually a different flavour of Valencia from Neil's uh, Vapo's Valencia deck on the day. As I said, we'll see footage of that later on. So um, to uh, give away Joey's secret slightly. Sorry, Joey. Um, <laughs> I believe there are not there's not a single breaker in this deck. Of any kind. Yeah, it sounds like um, Tim from Team Covenant. He is playing a similar Valencia deck to this. You can see that on their Team Covenant uh, Order and Chaos Fight Night videos. Is that all incubators and big yeah, dicks? Yeah, it's outrageous. Uh, that's where I thought I'd, I'd recognize this from. So I can actually see in... Uh, so day job's the kind of card you want now to get economy. Just, just wait. You're just waiting for the incubators. Yeah. Waiting for the corp to stop purging. Um, I can see that Joey has a parasite in hand, and I, I like I like the the added grief of if <laughs> they manage really to get something through the net. Yeah, because you know if you manage to res like just a wrap around or something, you know, just something really you know paper wall, <laughs> something other than a wrap around, possibly. Yeah. yeah. So um, does the foundry purge again? What do you reckon? No. <laughs> Indeed, it does not. I think I think you just. Bow down so in he's drawing. Of he's drawing gods he's, and draw. He's drawing, but what does he look for? He's using Jackson's draw. What is he looking for? What does it? Maybe he does have one of his it's boot the, camp, it's the, and he's, it's the third. Oh, you think he's looking for that? Beta test. So it looks like he's got that in hand. He's hands. got it. He's got it now. Yeah. So, but how but does he score through, it? He needs the biotic, right? He's got another biotic in hand. I'm sure he has. Okay, so we, so okay, so what's the plan? Next turn, score out the accelerate beta test. Yeah. Okay. All right. Has, has he? He, he does credit. have the biotic, in and he just took a credit. Yep. So, because you know, money is really useful in this game. He didn't want to thin out R&D anymore. I didn't want to draw. I guess, yeah. yeah. I, would, I would, I would, I would actually lol <laughs> hard if he fired the accelerator beta test and got nothing. <laughs> I don't think you should uh, laugh at a man in that kind of situation. It's just, oh, come on. it's unseemly. He's, he's, he's come along for our amusement. <laughs> and, and that would amuse me mightily. Sure. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is it. This is what's happened. So, uh, he's moved the incubator counts onto medium and a surge. Classic. Which means wow. one turn without that's purge fair. and there's game straight away. It's always going to come. Uh, so, wow, that was an incredible game. And Mike must surely not know what's hitting after that. That was uh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just really enjoyed that. Uh, but very well piloted by Joey. He, I think I believe that deck, that Valencia deck, was uh, undefeated in Swiss, actually. I think it was 5 and 9. Yeah, Joey made uh, it into the into the cut, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. If based only on the um, Valencia, if nothing else, I think. Um, yeah. So I mean, we obviously saw in a previous video that, that Mike's foundry deck is oh, is yeah, good. It's got a lot sure. of strengths, but all of its strengths are ice, and yeah. unfortunately, Valencia lost in the face of ice. So, um, Pete, thanks for joining me, thank and you. thank you, lovely viewer, for joining me as well. Um, we'll see you next time.